isolation and lockout process. Multiple isolation. Activity cleaning of cement mill central diaphragm. It is 11 a.m. in Ambuja's grinding unit. Two employees are discussing an issue. Meet Rajnair. He is the head of the mechanical department. This is Dev Singh, supervisor of the mechanical section. He is one of the persons authorized to be the permit holder during group isolation process. The mill output has decreased a lot since last week, Dev. Yes, drastically. Let's get the diaphragm cleaned before the situation gets worse. We can do this tomorrow because the plant is scheduled to be shut down. That sounds perfect. It is already planned. Let me check the isolation matrix to find out the energies. I will have to isolate for this activity. Where did I keep the hard copy? Let me quickly check it on my computer. For this activity we have to isolate these electrical energies and the gravitational energy. This is going to be a multiple isolation process. Dev begins to fill up the permit form. He refers the isolation matrix for the unique code of the hazardous energies to be isolated. Then he notes down each code in the permit form. I need the permit issuer's signature of approval on this permit. You have my approval but you also need a confined space permit to enter the mill. I will sign the permit after I inspect the work area tomorrow. In the meantime, I will inform the isolation officers about this. The necessary platform is available for you. I'll sign on the permit so that you can proceed. Dev takes three copies of permit to the CCR. I have been assigned to clean the cement mill diaphragm. We have to stop the equipment listed here. Can you stop them now? The mill has already been stopped the scheduled. I will confirm if all the drives mentioned in the permit are in stop mode. All the drives are in stop mode. Mechanical department working in the cement mill under permit number 20. The CCR person signs on the permit and keeps the white copy with him. Thank you. I will start the isolation process now. Dev is now on his way to MCC to begin the isolation of electrical energy. Hello, Jeet. Let's begin the isolation of electrical energies. Sure. Can I take a look at the permit, please? Meet Jeet Kapoor. He's an electrician in the plant. He is one of the electricians authorized to isolate electrical energy. Let me enter these details in the isolation register. I'll get the locks and tags. Once they reach the distribution panel, Dev stands behind the green boundary marked on the floor. Jeet puts on his gloves and opens the distribution panel. That needs to be isolated and switches off the power. To ensure that he's made a safe isolation, Jeet performs a test using the testing equipment. It's safe. I'll apply your lock and tag. He then closes the panel door and attaches the isolating device on the door handle. Next, he applies his green lock on the isolating device. Jeet writes the details of the isolation on the tag. Dev signs on the tag and hands it back to Jeet. Jeet apply tag along with the permit locks. Dev and Jeet isolate the rest of the other electrical energies listed in the isolation matrix. Jeet signs on the permit copy and Dev signs on the isolation register. Dev is now with the isolation officer for gravitational energy. Meet Vijay Rai. He belongs to the production section. He is one of the persons and who is authorized to isolate gravitational energy. Here is a permit. Vijay. Let me enter the details in the isolation register. Vijay enters the energy code for isolation and other information.
Let me close the valve and fly ash line. Weejay closes the valve. Then he attaches the isolating device and applies his green lock. Next, Dev applies his yellow lock. And attaches a permit tag. Dev gets the rest of the relevant energy's isolation in a similar way. Weejay signs on the permit and Dev signs on the energy isolation register. What is the status of the mill main drive? The mill main drive is unhealthy right now. Let me open the drive status menu. Dev, the electrical power is off. OK. Dev gives the toolbox talk. Would you like me explain the activity again? No, we understand what we need to do. Before you begin, please apply your locks in the group lock box here. Dev first puts in the keys. He applies his yellow lock along with the plastic covered permit attached to it on the lockout box. Then all the workmen apply their personal locks. You must not give your keys to anyone. I will be around. Call me once you complete the activity. I'm glad we could complete this before the end of our shift. Let's inform Supervisor Dev. Dev, we've completed the activity. Dev inspects the area and finds that the activity has been completed perfectly. I will inform the permit issuer. They've done a good job, Dev. I will initiate closing of the permit. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Can you remove my lock? No way. It's against our health and safety rules. It hardly takes a few minutes. All right. I'm sorry I asked. The workmen remove their locks in front of Dev. Now that you have removed your personal lock, you are not supposed to enter the work area under this permit. I will go ahead and close the permit now. I can take out my keys and the permit. I have to remove my lock first, BJ. Dev removes the lock of his department. Then, Weejay removes his lock. Weejay signs on the isolation log book that he has brought along with him. Dev also signs on it. Next, Weejay signs on the permit. Dev and Jeet go to the, the distribution panel area. Can I have your key? Jeet removes Dev's yellow lock. Then he removes his own green lock for all the electrical energies he's isolated for Dev's activity. Next, Jeet enters details in isolation log book stating that the permit is closed. Dev also signs on the register. Then Jeet signs on the permit. We have closed the permit. Okay. I will note that in the register. The CCR personnel enters the details in the register and then signs on the permit. Have you informed the CCR that you have removed the isolation? Yes. The activity is complete now and this is a permit. Raj keeps the permit to maintain record of the plant activities. This brings us to the end of the multiple isolation process.